Good afternoon, it's September 17th. I'm Joe Muldowney and this is your Ernerberry Seafood Market Update. In today's report, Angel Rubio and Janice Brown speak about salmon. Then, John Sackton will be covering the cod market. Let's get right to it with Angel Rubio and Janice Brown. Uh, we're right here with Janice who reports the salmon market for Erner Barry and uh, we're going to talk about the wild salmon market today. Janice, what can you tell us about this market? Hi Angel, um, the wild salmon market is experiencing a record-breaking year for landings. Um, projected landings for 2010 um, for the Alaskan season was 137 million fish and as of September 10th, uh, Alaska has landed over 162 uh, million fish. Wow, that's big. And um, what species uh, would you see are leading this increase um, in the market? Um, the answer to that would be pink salmon. Uh, pinks are projected to, were projected to land 69 million fish, and so far there's been over 101 million fish landed. Uh, Lane Welch from uh, Fish Radio mentioned in an article that was in SeafoodNews.com that the 15% lower projection was stemmed from an expectation that there would be a lower return of pink. Return. And then, however, the complete opposite happened. Um, pink landings are at 30 million um, fish over, over projections right now, and a majority of those pinks are coming from the Prince William Sound. Yeah, yeah I remember that article. And um, are there any species uh, short of these projections? Yes, there, there, there's a few that are short of the Alaskan projections. Uh, chums are short about a million fish. Uh, cohos are short about 1.5 million okay. fish, and sockeyes are short about 5 million fish. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I had some conversation about this, but um, how is this affecting the market and pricing? Um, it's affected pricing. I mean, even though these species that I just mentioned are under the 2010 projections, and although most are actually currently under 2009 Alaska landings, we have seen record-breaking run, runs out of Canada. Uh, for instance, the Fraser River uh, sockeyes saw the largest run there in, 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 since 100 years ago. Um, wow. And uh, currently pricing for sockeyes um, is lower uh, than in 2009. And um, it's kind of following a trend that we saw in 2006. Uh, last year at this time, uh, four to six pound sockeyes were around $3.60. Uh, this year, in contrast, we're seeing pricing trending closer to 250 to 260. That's a whole dollar there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, the average for 2010 is currently three dollars and 38 cents, uh, the lowest um, since 2006. Yeah. Um, and 2006 was the average was three dollars and six cents. Um, and uh, just in comparison to last year, um, the 2009 average was three dollars and 64 cents. So you're looking at you know, a difference of about, you know, about 30 cents lower than here. Last year. Exactly, as compared to last year. Okay, sorry. Right. Seconds, and that's right? only for stock guys, correct. Um, chums, on the other hand, are experiencing all-time highs. Uh, demand for chums has been active, especially for frozen chums. Uh, we started the wild salmon season uh, with thin frozen inventories of chums, mm -hmm. and um, there's been a continued pressure to freeze fish. Um, this has affected pricing for both the fresh and the frozen market mm -hmm. for chums. Um, fresh pricing, uh, the average for uh, fresh chums is 40 cents over last year's price. Uh, Alaskan right. chum landings, yeah, Alaskan chum landings in 2009 were just shy of uh, 18 million fish, and so far for 2010, uh, chum landings are about a million shy of of last year. Well, that's uh, interesting. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll pay attention to this market in the future. And uh, thank you very much for your time, Janice. Great. Thanks a lot, Angel. Bye-bye. Uh, for people in uh, New England and uh, Newfoundland and Atlantic Canada, uh, the cod fishery is the holy grail. Uh, this fishery has supported the region for hundreds of years. The fact that it collapsed on the Grand Banks in the uh, 1980s and early 90s is one of the biggest black marks on fisheries management on record. However, fish are resilient. The cod is coming back. Uh, this has been uh, reported in many forums for several years, but NAFO scientists at the meeting in Halifax next week 
are going to report that the cod biomass on the Grand Banks increased 70 percent in the last three years. Uh, there is a regime shift going on which is bringing cod back to the Northwest Atlantic. Unfortunately, the fishery management regulations now in place are probably not strong enough to support the revival of the fishery. NAFO is an international organization. As a result, uh, Spaniards, Portuguese, uh, uh, Faroe Islands, a lot of different countries uh, fish outside of Canada's 200 mile limit in the Northwest Atlantic. And many of these countries take cod as bycatch, especially targeted bycatch. Uh, the bycatch levels were at least 160 percent of what NAFO had set earlier. Uh, we have a problem. We have an enforcement problem that's not going to be solved on a government to government basis. Uh, Canada, first of all, is going to have to pressure NAFO for much stronger cod enforcement. But also those in the industry uh, who want to see a restored healthy cod fishery, along with those buyers and, and, and uh, conservationists who want to see a, a restored cod fishery, are going to have to act in the public arena to prevent weak fisheries management from nipping off uh, the uh, development of this uh, cod fishery in the bud. Uh, we're really at a critical juncture uh, and uh, people like the WWF are playing a very positive role at this point in calling attention to the need to allow this fishery to continue to rebuild and not allow rapacious European fleets uh, to uh, cut it off at its roots. Uh, in Lexington, Mass., this is John Sackton. That wraps it up for Erner Barry Seafood Market Report. Thank you for listening. This report has been sponsored by Erner Barry Seafood Import Workshop on November 10th in Los Angeles, California. Contact your account manager for details at 800-932-0617.